So here I am out near the um, side of my house. And I've put the air stone in the uh, drainage that comes from the um, worm factory and this um, tub inside of another tub. So what it was is I, I perforated all these holes in the top using a 30 second drill bit and then on this same tub here there's there's 30 second holes drilled all the way around the side all the way up to about halfway and then there's there's on this outer tub there's one hole drilled down here that this is it drains into. Then I keep this covered up with cardboard because that lid right there didn't it's kind of not fitting for a while, so I put that on. Keep that covered with cardboard and then um, paper also. So, worms are real happy in here. And you can't beat coconut coir and the um, worm castings and the temperature being um, between 75 and 85 degrees. Everything sprouts. You got whatever seeds you put it. You put with this with this in the coconut coir. They those those seeds will sprout. And you can see. I'll you know. Here's some more sprouts. Everything you put in here sprouts. <laughs> it's amazing. Once this thing warms up and it's and it's spring summertime, then as you can see, I'm getting a lot of um, the worms. They like the rag here, so they're crawling around, enjoying life eating all the food table scraps that I put in here. This one, this one, I, I have to harvest the castings out of this bin here. I haven't done that in a long time. And this one here, I did harvest the, cast, the castings out. And I started my um, cucumber plants with the castings in the um, coconut coir, or co called coconut peat. If you got to buy the coconut peat. They don't normally sell that at the big big box stores or your nurseries. You kind of have to order it online. And the place I get it as the place I bought it as in Salem, Oregon, um, uh, Matrix Bio Supply. If you're in that, if you're ever in the area there near um, passing through there near Cave Junction, between Cave halfway between Cave Junction and Grants Pass, they have the the good coconut good quality coconut peat for in really inexpensive and save your shipping costs you can pick it up there but this is this is what's this is worms so there's lots of castings in here I need to, I need to take these out and there's two two different there's three different kinds of red wigglers I have this ones these ones that have the stripes and then I have the red ones that are just plain red and these I haven't bought any worms for about three years. These are the same worms I've had. I've taken good care of them. In the winter time I make sure they're warm. There's a little heater in my outbuilding that comes on at night and you don't want to have them too wet and you don't want to have them too dry. You want to make sure you can never overfeed them but just don't let it get too um, too wet, too mushy. So as much food as you can, and then it needs aerating too. You have to you have to make sure there's air that's going to get to them. And once in a while, what I'll do is I'll open it up and I'll I'll kind of stir things around so that they get air. You can see I'm, I got <laughs> a lot of worms in here. Really amazing, and it, and it, it's such a it's such a rich it it's so um, potent of a fertilizer too. You put this on your seeds. Pour that. I pour that with the air bubbler in there. I pour that out on my plants, on my strawberry plants, and in my on my vegetables. And it just it just makes it grow like crazy. You can see here's mang another mango tree growing. There's another mango tree growing, and then I have whatever seeds are in here sprout immediately. You know, if it's warm. So anyhow, that's the status of my worms and what I'm doing with the worms. I'm gonna feed my strawberry plants shortly. Signing off.